Hello everyone! Welcome to an Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie, here with my friend Alicia, and today we are going to be talking about Viticulture World, the cooperative expansion to Viticulture. Uh, Viticulture World is by Stonemeyer Games, and it is a game for one to six players. It takes about 75 to 95 minutes to play for ages 14 and up. And in Viticulture World, Similar to the original base game, Viticulture, you are creating your vineyard, harvesting your grapes, creating wine and fulfilling orders for wine, uh, and doing all sorts of things in that world. But this time, we're doing it cooperatively with the other players and attempting to achieve certain objectives and gain enough influence points as well as vic get each player to have enough victory points at the end of the game to win all together in Viticulture World. Viticulture World is an expansion of the original Viticulture game, which the original is a competitive game and this one is cooperative, which I really like that. I like both of them a lot. It's um, one of my favorite games mm -hmm. and I really like just like worker placement games and this is one of them and I really like the theme of making wine. I think it's really cute that like you get to see the process of building mm -hmm. the structures and then turning grapes into wine and uh, fermenting the wine and aging them into make them better more valuable wine yes uh, everything about the whole world is shown in this game and there's a lot to it and there's even more that's added with the expansion the cooperative expansion so you do need the base game to play and you can have the, some of the other expansions but you don't have to so there's two versions of the board in case you don't have uh, one of the expansions as well and this game adds not only you know more cards for each of the decks more mamas and papas of all different sorts um, little little hats that go <laughs> on your characters um, and as well as Oh, and as well as the event cards. So this is really neat. You can play through different scenarios uh, and they kind of tell you a little bit of flavor text as well about making wine in different parts of the world. So a little bit of history and, and world building um, sort of flavor text uh, to the game as well as providing that challenge. And this game is a challenge. What did you think of the gameplay, Alicia? <laughs> The cooperative one is yes. actually harder, in my opinion, than the competitive one because not only do you have to think about what you have to do for yourself, you have to think about everyone as a team. So sometimes you have to sacrifice like giving yourself more points to do the better thing in the long run for everyone. Yeah, and I think and not everyone can do everything. Like in the competitive game you're thinking oh well in order to make the most points I definitely want to get to that large seller uh, at some point and sooner than possible and maybe in the cooperative game maybe not everyone needs to do that because you can trade the cards and someone can have the large seller and and be making the bigger wines and so on and so forth so yeah definitely a different little bit it adds a little bit and if you think in that mindset of just about yourself you're definitely not going to get to yeah. the end because of the influence. So you have to get a certain amount of influence in order to win. And that's kind of your point tracker for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll, some of the cards will force you to do certain actions that maybe are not the best for you <laughs> beneficially point wise in order to get that influence and, and get up there. But you like, you have to take one for the team, right? And, and work mm -hmm. on that or buying some of the upgrades. So I love about this as well as kind of upgrading the spaces in addition to, um, not just having, you know, like a variety of spaces, but actually you have to pay to upgrade it and then everyone benefits for the rest of the game, which is great. Yeah, and I definitely think the event cards are really important. I think the first time around we didn't really um, focus on those as much, so we weren't getting a lot of points at first, but this time we were like, all right, those were important in uh, like advancing us on the track, so we tried to make sure we got every single one of those yeah. completed, even though it didn't seem beneficial like mm -hmm. at first. And... Um utilizing the cards is really important in the gameplay of this I'd say uh, because that sometimes will let you get get you 
some of the actions you can't otherwise get because there aren't enough spaces, you haven't upgraded it yet, etc. Um, so there, it's just a huge balance of working and communicating with each other and mm -hmm. trying to get everyone to, you know, 25 or more points, but also make sure you yourself get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another thing I noticed in the gameplay is that in the beginning, the summer spaces are a lot more needed. And then late game, you need more winter spaces. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, you might be like, all trying to yeah. get the summer spaces and those are all filled. everyone wants to plant yeah <laughs> everyone wants to draw green cards yeah but then at the end you're like oh no there's not enough spaces for winter <laughs> that's where training your worker is so important and I yeah. didn't do that and I think it hurt me and cost me this this game this last round that we played <laughs> what did you think of the component quality of the game I think um, I like the meeples a lot especially the little structures they're super cute um, I like the added hats. They <laughs> make the workers look cute, but uh, the only thing with those is they kind of like fall off easily. Yeah, if you try to pick it up from yeah. the, oh, well that one works. Some of them, some of them stay on, some of them don't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is, I think it's, it adds a lot to the game with the yeah. distinction between summer and winter and, and really making you consider, okay, do I want to train my workers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about... <laughs> Uh, we already talked about the theme. What about the artwork? I like the artwork. It makes you really feel like you're in a vineyard mm -hmm. and like I get a feel for the theme for sure. It has that artwork. definitely very like classic feel, right? Mm -hmm. It feels, it's not um, kind of almost whimsical, but not, not in a fantasy way, but more in a nostalgic kind of historical way, right? It's really cute. Yeah. Uh, overall, what do you think of Viticulture World and would you play this again and or who would you recommend it to? Yeah, I would definitely play it again. <laughs> um, I, I want to be able to, you know, get to the end without any help <laughs> because I know we played it with the with, extra help. <laughs> we played with an extra round one time in order to, to win and beat it because yeah. we're having trouble. <laughs> yeah, I want to beat it. <laughs> we want to beat the game uh, on our own someday, yeah. someday. Yeah. <laughs> someday we'll do it. Um, I would recommend this to anyone who likes to work together, um, mm -hmm. families, friends that like to work together. It's super fun to cooperate. Yeah, and I think especially if you liked uh, viticulture but maybe the competitive element is too much for some people this is a easy way to get them into the viticulture by playing cooperatively a little less i wouldn't say less stress because it is a challenge but <laughs> uh, maybe less cutthroat because you're working together do you have any uh negatives or anything you want people to consider before buying the game um... or playing it Negatives. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We don't have to have a whole lot of negative. I just say maybe it's it's a lot of stuff, and I feel like some of the cards because there's so many now that we have a you know one of the expansion, two of the expansions now that I felt like it would be nice if there were more cards that were just for the cooperative play where we could help mm. each other and give each other more points in that way with some of the blue and the yellow cards. Yeah. Uh, I feel yeah, that I would help the, out. The brown ones. I feel like those never felt very valuable whenever right. we had the and that's, that's one of the expansions the orange cards there all right that's about it so uh if you would like to check out viticulture world you can click the link in the description to read more all about it and pick up the game you will need the base game if you want to play the cooperative expansion so just make sure you have that but you don't have to have all of the other expansions and uh anything else you want to add alicia no that's no. it all right so definitely check out while you're down there hit that like button hit the uh, subscribe and bell notification to get more unfiltered gamer uh you know reviews and our live plays so check out our live stream on we're on twitch now on sunday 6 30 p.m pst you can check us out there join the party we play games just like this one uh, live on the stream full playthroughs and how to play you can join us there and unfilteredgamer.com check it out for blog reviews and giveaways <laughs> that's about it thank you guys so much for watching check out viticulture world by stonemeyer games and we look forward to making wine with you next, next time. time. Good one. <laughs>